Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss logical operators in PHP. Logical operators are also known as logical connectives. They are used to connect one or more conditions. They accept boolean operands. On evaluation, they yield the result true or false, that is 1 or 0. Pair of ampersand symbols indicate logical AND operator. Logical AND operator says that if both left hand side and right hand side operands are true, then the result will be true. In all other cases, the result will be false. Let's have a demo and understand. I go to WAMP server, www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP, which indicates the beginning of the PHP code, question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here I say echo true and true, comma. I use the br tag to push the next content to the next line. Logical and says that if both left hand side and right hand side operands are true, then the result will be true, that is 1. If I say file, save, go to browser, here I say localhost forward slash default.php. We know that localhost points to WAMP server www directory. Within that, we have created default.php file. To execute the default.php file, we need to say there localhost forward slash default.php, hit enter. You can see that default.php file is executed, we got the output saying 1, that is true. I don't want to display 1 or 0. I want to display true, false itself. So what do I do? I take help of the conditional operator. I am going to put this condition inside brackets. Then I say question mark. In double quotations, I say true. Then I say colon. In double quotations, I say false. We know that this is true part. This is false part. If the given condition is true, then the true part will be executed. If the given condition results to false, then the false part will be executed. Here, true and true resulted to 1, that is true, so the true part will be executed. Echo will display true in the browser, guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got true there. Let me go back. I am going to select this line of code, copy that and paste down. And here I say false. You can see that on the left hand side we have true, on the right hand side we have false. Logical AND says if both left hand side and right hand side are true, then the result will be true, otherwise the result will be false. Here we get false, I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got false. I go back, I am going to select this line of code, copy that and paste down. This time, here I say false and here I say true. You can see that on the left hand side we have false, on the right hand side we have true. Logical AND says if both left hand side and right hand side are true, then the result will be true, otherwise the result will be false. So here we will get the false because on both sides we don't have true. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got false. I go back, I am going to copy this line of code, Control c paste down and here I say false. On both sides we have false, we don't have true on both sides, so definitely we should get false here. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see that we got false. So that is what the logical AND operator says. Logical AND says, if both left hand side and right hand side operands are true, then the result will be true. Otherwise, the result will be false, guys. Logical OR operator. Pair of pipeline symbols indicate logical OR operator. Logical OR operator says that if both left hand side and right hand side operands are false, then the result will be false. In all other cases, the result will be true. What logical OR operator says? If both left hand side and right hand side operands are false, then the result will be false. In all other cases, the result will be true. Let's understand this. I go back here. I say here echo. 
I use one extra br here so that we can get the space. I'm going to copy these four lines of codes and paste down. Instead of and operator, I'm going to use the or operator here. Or, or, or. We know that the or operator says if both left hand side and right hand side are false, then the result will be false. In all other cases, the result will be true. So here we are going to get the result true. Here we are going to get the result true. So we should get the output true, 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 false. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got output true, 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 false. That's what the logical R is. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Here I say one extra br echo br tag semicolon. Next operator we have is exclusive or logical exclusive or operator says that if both are same then the result will be false otherwise true. If both left hand side and right hand side operands are same then the result will be false otherwise the result will be true. We have x or keyword. Let's see that. I am going to copy these four lines of codes and paste down. Here I say XOR. Here I say XOR. Here I say XOR. Here I say XOR. Logical exclusive OR operator says that if both left hand side and right hand side are same, then the result will be false. If both left hand side and right hand side are same, then the result will be false. Otherwise, the result will be true. So we should get the output saying false, true, true, false. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got false, true, true, false. That is what the exclusive OR operator says guys. Next we have logical NOT operator. Exclamation mark symbol indicates the logical NOT operator. It says that if the given operand is false, then the result will be true. If the given operand is true, then the result will be false. Let's understand that. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. And then I say here echo in bracket I say true bracket close question mark double quotations true colon double quotations false comma I use the br tag to push the next content to the next line. Here I say not true. We know that not true means false. So we will get here false as the output. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got false. Let's go back. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say not false. We will get here output saying true. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got true. I hope you guys have clearly understood logical and operator. Logical AND operator says that if both left hand side and right hand side operands are true, then the result will be true. In all other cases, the result will be false. Logical OR operator says that if both left hand side and right hand side operands are false, then the result will be false. In all other cases, the result will be true. Logical exclusive OR operator says that if both left hand side and right hand side operands are same, then the result will be false. Otherwise, the result will be true. Logical NOT operator says that if the given operand is false, then the result will be true. If the given operand is true, then the result will be false. In place of pair of ampersand symbols, we can also use the AND keyword. In place of pair of pipeline symbols, we can use the OR keyword guys. Let's go back and see more examples. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down to get an extra break. Here down I say echo, in brackets I say 3 is less than 4 bracket close and 4 is less than 5 bracket close. And then I am going to put this entire expression in one condition, question mark true colon false comma I use the br tag to push the next content to the next line. Here you can see that within the brackets I am saying 3 is less than 4. Of course, 3 is less than 4 is true. And brackets 4 is less than 5. 4 is less than 5 is also true. On the left hand side we have true. On the right hand side we have true. If we have on the left hand side also true, on the right hand side also true, we'll get the result true guys. 
so we will get the output here saying true for and operator file save go to browser and refresh if i go down you see that the true is displayed there let's go back i am going to copy this line of code and paste down instead of using ampersands as i told we can use the and keyword also and operator says if both left hand side and right hand sides operands are true then the result will be true here both left hand side and right hand side conditions result into true so we will get the output saying true guys file save go to browser and refresh if i go down you see that we got the result true there let's see the next example i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down here i say whether 3 is greater than 4 and 4 is greater than 5 instead of using and operator i am going to use the or operator we know that 3 greater than 4 is false 4 greater than 5 is false on the left hand side we have false on the right hand side we have false logical or operator says that if both left hand side and right hand side operands are false then the result will be false otherwise the result will be true so here we'll get the result false guys i say file save good browser and refresh if i go down you will see that false is displayed there let me go back i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down instead of using pair of pipeline symbols we can use the or keyword if i say file save good browser and refresh we get false output there next i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down i say down here echo and i copy this line of code and paste down here i'm going to use only one condition 3 less than 4 is true right if i say not 3 less than 4 it is going to result into false as this condition is false the echo is going to display false in the browser guys i say file save go to browser and refresh if i go down you will see that the false is displayed so that is all about logical operators in php i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly guys try these codes yourself experiment more in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about php for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial